Hello everybody, Captain Gaptron here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sly 2. And in this episode, we're just gonna... Oh, I forget I can't jump up there with... <laughs> Murray. Ooh, that was close. I didn't even see him there. Ooh, he's gonna see me. Alright, we might... He just alerted... Dadgum everybody, so we might have to... Do some fist fighting here. Oh, no, I got away in time. Yeah, my TV screen's actually very uh, dark. It's 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 a cheap TV from Walmart, you know, a cheap flat screen. I needed one to go in my bedroom because when I got my new computer, I wasn't gonna have a laptop, so I couldn't be completely moving my laptop from my bedroom on my desk to the TV in the living room, you know. And uh, I I mean I didn't want to have to move my desktop. All right. I need you to make your way back to the aqua pump room and sabotage it. Jeez, I don't know. How am I supposed to get past these lasers? You should be able to break that power box by throwing something at it. Press the circle button to use your stomp move near the ice machine to pick up a block of ice. <clears throat> then press the square button to throw Come the on, block at the mumbler. Power box. I really want to get going. Press the circle button to pick stuff up. And the square button to throw. Got it. Yep, I got it. I had it before you told me. Oops. Alright, so we're just gonna hit that. I think you have to hit it twice. Three times. Yeah, three times. Though I knew it was three times. <coughs> but anywho. So what can we talk about? I mean, I gotta talk about something. I haven't uploaded a video in almost a month, you know? No, I could tell you I might be moving out of my apartment, you know, because uh, we had a uh, wham. He picked up the guard. We're gonna throw him in the lasers there. Anywho, yeah, I'm gonna possibly be moving out of my apartment. Okay, so we're gonna throw them inside the vents. Yeah, so they're gonna clog it. I, you have to get a, kind of a rhythm going here. Because if you don't... Yeah, see, as soon as they come out, pick them up and throw them. Ooh. You have to throw them kind of in the right... I'm not... Yeah, this rhythm has... Well, we got it. There's so much talking going on that we have to listen to. I don't... I'm really not being able to finish my story. I'll have to finish it when... Uh, Motormouth is done talking here. Okay, fellas. I've constructed a plan to get at the clockwork tail feathers. But we'll need to pull off a few more jobs to set things up for the heist. First, Sly will have to pick a few pockets in the theater so that we'll have access to the spotlight control center. Once that's accomplished, we'll be able to turn off all the security around the printing press. We'll need your muscle, Murray, to take out all the exterior alarm horns. We don't want anything to alert the guards while we pull off the big job. And finally, we'll need to get into the discotheque to drop this mirror ball. Trust me, it's all part of the plan. Well, he could explain some of that instead of saying, trust me, but that's Bentley. But anywho, let me, we're going to go ahead and play as Murray and get his job done. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm, we had some neighbors move in recently, you know, because I, I live in apartments. If y'all don't know, I live in an apartment and, uh, uh excuse me. Shoot, I can't remember where I'm supposed to go. But anywho, we had new neighbors move in, and that's all cool. I, I don't mind neighbors. They're an old couple, but they, they're they smokers, real heavy smokers. I don't have anything against smoking. It's just, you know, I can't say it's bad, but it's bad, you know? Now, I don't 
remember if I said any of this. Hey, uh, hold on a second, okay? Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, they're smokers and it's not, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm against smoking. I don't smoke. I don't like smelling like smoke either. So yeah, I, I'm not, I can't, yeah, I'm against smoking. Just because, I, I mean, if y'all are upset at me, fine, but I know too many good people who have died because of cigarette okay, smoke. Murray. That alarm horn will tip off Dimitri during our heist. There are three of them out here, and I need you to Come take on, Bentley, I'm in the middle of a story here. Sure. Let's get this done. This is going to take some serious muscle, Murray. You're the only guy on the team who can pull this off. Stop to pick things up. Okay, well, you get what he's saying, but anywho, yeah, so, they're, they're cigarette smoke, and I guess they're pretty heavy smokers, is really leaking through to our side of the apartment, and I don't like that, because it's making me smell like smoke, it's making my, it's making all my stuff smell like smoke, too, you know, my furniture, and this apartment doesn't have a no smoking policy, so there ain't really anything we can do about it. So I, I have my roommate here, and I've talked with him, discussed what he would like to do or what he thinks would be best, you know. So we're probably going to just move because I thought about getting an air purifier, but the thing with the air purifiers. Those things are kind of a hit and miss on whether they work or not, you know, but I don't really want to start smelling like cigarette smoke, you know? Because, uh, no. It, it's, no, no. But, uh, yeah, so I'll possibly be moving my leases up here at the end of July. And if that's the case, gee, I, I don't know where we're going to move. There's not many smoke-free apartments here, but I've been looking around. So, if we decide not to move, we're going to try some air purifiers and shoot. If they don't work, we'll just return them, I guess. Where do we have to go next? Isn't there one here? Yeah, there's one right down here. Okay. Hey, look, a bottle. Let's get it while I'm right here. Oh, I didn't show y'all. The uh, safe for the bottles is actually inside Dimitri's office. So... Okay, come on. Alright. Oh, there's one more. Okay, there we go. We got him. I love the little cartoony kind of thwamp, thwamp, bang, bam kind of thing they got going on here. It's hysterical. Okay, there's a guy up there, so we want to avoid it. I guess we'll just stay on the ground here with Murray. But, uh... Anywho, yeah, I couldn't remember if I told y'all that story or not in the first or second episode. I don't think I did, but if I did, just it's it's me, it's me being forgetful and just be used to my my memory is not as good as it should be. I shouldn't say that because you know, but really, ooh, bottle. If you see a bottle, get it because if you. Use forget that you saw one you don't know where they are you know later it might become a problem let's sneak up on this guy if we can because we can use him yeah we see if we can use him and he's not going to get anyone's attention all right we have one more to get a rat mission complete man okay get out of here varmint just throw them in the water. Okay, yeah, that's everything here. Okay, now we can go back and uh, become sly. Become sly. Use. Oh, look, there's a thingy. Come on, little bottle. Okay. Unfortunately, in this game, the only person that can pickpocket is sly. In the third game, uh. What's his name in the third game? Moonlight Rendezvous. Rendezvous. I used to always call that word Rendezvous in, when I was younger. Yeah, I know it's not Rendezvous, it's just Rendezvous. But I always pronounce it that way. I've always had a bad habit of actually pronouncing words 
never really the way they really are. You know, if I see it, I don't completely, like, read the word before I try to figure out, you know. It's, it, it's hard to explain, you know. I'm not going to explain it. It's, it's too confusing. I just sometimes say words the wrong way. It's just not even the right word, you know. But, any, or I misread a word, think it's something else. But I did find out, talk to my girlfriend, the black chatio is not black chatio, chatio, like I thought it was. Uh, we're not going to exit to the episode menu, but the, it's actually pronounced chateau. Which, I would have never figured that out, ever. My girlfriend told me how it was actually pronounced. Black Chateau. Which, I had no idea, man. Am I heading the right way? I am not. Alright, let's go to this Moonlight Rendezvous. Okay, that was close. Ooh, look, they got something. I might at certain times when I'm really needing an upgrade just go off screen and pickpocket people, but I won't go and, you know, just... Ooh, look, they went different ways. I wonder if this guy... Yeah, he's got some loot, too. And I wait. I won't sell the loot that I get until, you know, I'm on screen or something. Just so you can see how much... where I'm getting all my money from. Because there'll be times when I'm needing an upgrade and I don't have money for it, so... There might... Yeah, shoot, I might even just spend an episode of pickpocketing and breaking things. I don't know. Where was I going again? Yeah, over there. Okay, I gotta stop wasting time. This video is gonna be a lot longer than it needs to be. And we really don't need that. I mean, I'm sure y'all don't care exactly. I mean, I bet y'all don't want the video to be an hour long. But for your convenience, you know, I like to make them around 15-20 minutes. So we'll do this quick mission and call it good. Uh, ooh, shoot. Another bottle. Ooh, we can totally split there. Excuse me. Alright. Oh, it's over there. Man, I'm just all over the place. I have lost my sense of direction completely. Uh, let's just get rid of this guy. Wham, wham. Okay. Alright, we're here. Get this bottle while we're over here. Okay. Here we go. Hold it, Koopa. Constable Mila. Another policewoman hot on my tail. Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and... I don't want the likes of the Claw Gang putting them to use. So what? It takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that you can keep up. Literally. Literally? Don't fall behind. Fly, hold down the R1 button to run. I'm running, Bentley. Stop talking. Okay, it's not too difficult to follow her. I actually know where she's going, so I can kind of stay ahead of her. But you don't want to get too close. Or I can't say you don't want to get too close. You don't want to get too far ahead. You don't want to get too far behind. There are times she'll actually wait for you if you get too far behind. There are certain points where along her run she'll actually stop and wait for you to catch up if you're too far behind. And also, in this one, I know where she's going. Because I played this game so many times. I think I already told you I played this game more times than I played the first one. Along with the third one as well. Because they're just better. You know, after I played the second and the third game, I don't think I ever played the first one since. But the last time I played the. F Ooh, shoot. Okay, she's right there. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, come on, Gavin. Don't fail now. Alright, this isn't too difficult. I mean, she kind of took the long way. I know exactly. Well, I mean, she's testing us to see if we can keep up with her. Because we're already almost there, and I'll stop this video.
And, uh, yeah. So we're almost there. I don't know why I went up there. Because she's just going here to the... We'll just meet her up here this way. Well done, Sly. We should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant. But I happen to have obtained a key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. <laughs> <laughs> we are absolutely going to work well together. Yeah, we are. Man. All right, guys. That job inside the disco will require my demolition skills. I want to go in. Yeah, sure. Oh, theater pickpocketing. I gotta do that before I turn into you, Bentley. But we're gonna do that in the next episode, so I will see y'all in the next episode. Okay, guys? Take care. Bye-bye.